In this 16-cell mouse habitat, utopian conditions of nutrition, comfort, and housing were provided for a potential population of over 3,000 mice. Yet, in spite of ideal conditions, the mouse population met with catastrophe. Individuals were kept track of by color markings on their fur. Factors which normally control population growth, such as predation by owls or cats, were eliminated. Transmissible disease was also reduced. Within the first 100 days, the mice went through the period Dr. Calhoun called strive. This was a period of adjustment. Territories were established and nests were made. The next period lasted about 250 days. The population of the mice doubled every 60 days. This was called the exploit period. The use of resources became unequal. Although each living unit was identical in structure and opportunities, more food and water was consumed in some areas. The third period, consisting of 300 days, found the population of mice leveling off. This was called the equilibrium period. Dr. Calhoun noticed that the newer generations of young were inhibited, since most space was already socially defined. At this time, some unusual behavior became noticeable. Dr. Calhoun called these individuals the beautiful ones. Their time was devoted solely to grooming, eating, and sleeping. They never involved themselves with others, engaged in sex, nor would they fight. All appeared as a beautiful exhibit of the species, with keen alert eyes and a healthy, well-kept body. These mice, however, could not cope with unusual stimuli. Though they looked inquisitive, they were, in fact, very stupid. Dr. Calhoun called the last period the die phase, leading the population into extinction. Although the mouse utopia could house 3,000, the population began to decline at 2,200. 